All right, so what's up everybody? Jacuzzi here. I hope you guys are all having a nice day. Today is we're doing something a little different. We are playing Hogwarts Legacy. So guys, make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Twitch so you get notified whenever I upload content and go live. So I recently just purchased Hogwarts Legacy and yeah, it is absolutely phenomenal. I got it on sale. So for those of you who want to get it, now's the time. It's like basically like 70% off. And I'm sure you guys know, man, you just walk around here. You got the whole Hogwarts castle. You could like walk around the lake, Hogsmeade. And listen, man, this, uh, this castle is really easy to get lost in. Just passageways after passageways in every direction, dude. This is crazy. All right, so hold up, let me... I got some quests here. All right, so let's see. I was going the wrong way, but look at that, guys. Looks beautiful over there. Like the backdrop, just everything. Yo, I honestly, just getting to class is difficult because I get distracted with so much stuff going on. Uh, which way am I going? Let me see. Yeah, see, it's so easy to get lost. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. Huh? Beautiful stairs, like. Ugh, just every hallway, stunning artwork. And it's got like that whole gothic vibe, dude. Like I would love to be able to go to a school like this. Like, how absolutely amazing. I feel like that's sort of the dream in the aspect for Hogwarts is being able to go to class, learn magic and stuff. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Hold on. So then where do we have to go? What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? 
thinking on it, perhaps Just making sure my sounds good. The details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. Of course. It, it would not be a Harry Potter story if a page from a book wasn't missing. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. Though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this... Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The... What will you tell them about Mr. Rosrick's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried mm. to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. What will you tell them about Mr. Rosrick's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep... I understand. I'll see what uh, I can learn well... about missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your want work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology you and said the wand work. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh. And don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, so... gotta do now listen guys it's very rare you will ever catch me playing a non-online game like these these aren't the type of games i normally play to do so outside of the castle hold up where are the quest at no i don't want to be here i guess so Oh, there's like whole entire areas. Uh, North Hogwarts region, Hogsmeade, Forbidden Forest. An entire area is down here, damn. There's the lake. So there is a lot more than just the castle, dude. It just seems like the castle's like the most dense. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Alright guys, so basically I need to complete assignments now. To be able to get this defense spell. So the girl from the Unwegi. Meet Natty Noah in Low Hogsfield. And go 
to herbology class. I guess I could go to my herbology class. Like, what would hurt there, you know? And then I'll go and meet that girl at Hogsmeade, I guess. <clears throat> so I have no idea how to get to my herbology class. Good thing uh, there's like an auto tracker in the map that could just guide you through. Because I'll be real with you guys, if I tried to figure it out on my own, I would probably take over an hour. Whoa. I just have to stop for a moment and take all this in. Looks so good, dude. Dude, like, I on it, like, let me, you know, let me know down in the chat as well what you think. Like, look at this, man. That looks beautiful, too. All right, time for Herbology. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora Professor dear. Professor Garlic. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's Love class. Love the name. Um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. What? <laughs> Class, Alexa, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bomb. Oh. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Oh, I know about this. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> Gotta stuff them ears. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Oof. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Yo, that teacher don't now, look like she knows what she's doing. We'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I would be scared. Only to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs oh. like not grass. Yes, professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. I nearly I went, went deaf. Death. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. 
Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, okay. and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how sort the of reminds me of the mechanic from Monster Hunter, where you could like take seeds, right. plant, and then use those plants for like power-ups and stuff or potions in this game more more than likely. If I didn't have that fireplace to sit next to, I think I should be terrified. Dittany's restorative properties make it a... Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Okay, sounds good to me. And it only takes nine minutes, I guess. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch Ooh. out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay, so now Hello. I need to meet Saw you on your this way to Hogsmeade the other day. person. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice what work in defense show against me? the dark arts, by the way. I don't know, guys. Excuse that me? NPC wants to Your show me something. Sebastian. I'm a skedaddle out and of he's here. Good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. Just going Wait, on. Here we through. are. Home of the Chinese chomp. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Alright, attack the target dummy with the chomping cabbage. And how am I supposed to do that? Incendio, Leviosa, Lumos, Repairo. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need to switch it out here. Okay. Attack the test dummy with the chomping cabbage. How though? Oh, hold LB and tap R to open the tool wheel. What does that do? Then tap to use your assigned tools. Hold. Wait. Oh. Look at that. 
That's cool. Anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the dino. That took me a little bit to figure out, but that thing tatters. is scary. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. They definitely Not are. Like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Dude, I'll definitely plant those cabbages. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos. Oh, they're gonna let these Trolls students have these things, such. dude. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. So I'm returning. A helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I, shall I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor, but looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. So, I guess that's my herbology class in a nutshell. Let's take a look at the quest. Understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary. As Potions class now. All right. Now time for some potions. That's in the great hall. You can't imagine how inconvenient. It's beautiful. It's a green relief room, to man. finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. They really romanticize uh, Hogwarts here. I feel like there's no way it could look this nice. Now, shouldn't there be all right. Right. someone from the Ministry Let's Garden? Professor here. Black is never allowed in. It would make him look completely incompetent. And potions. Whoa. Like, look at even the artwork on the ceilings. Let's see how this goes. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. 
The Wiganwell Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal Ooh. some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. Oh, that guy's got a limp. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. He has a scar on his eye. He's been through it, dude. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Oh. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. You just... Dab a little bit into that potion. Up a little bit. I'm making that homemade soup. Oh, I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy hey, potion yo, to brew. Try this out, cuz. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade. You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Oh, what is up there, man? Hmm. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unf My parents considered keeping me home from school this year. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Hmm. Yes, but why, why do you want to know? You? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. Oh, he's but a she Weasley? She can't be everywhere. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain <laughs> I should have said I don't think that's I a good idea, but I like to live Fwoop life on the wild side, valuable. so I'll just do it. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. Can you remind me what you needed again? I was hoping you could get me a Fwooper Feather from Sharp's office. It's the last ingredient I need to complete my potion. Uh, where do I go? Remember. Wait, let me read that again. Bruh. The Fupa Feather. Oh. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. 
I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Speaking of stars... All right, so... I got Here's your stuff, buddy. You wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. All right, so let's begin brewing. Brewing time. I'm basically learning how to make potions and like plant like different objects to help me. Alright. And now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Oh. What did he do, bro? Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Garen. What now, Mr. Weasley? Making me look bad. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh, he got me, dude. I'm not sure what you're talking about, ah. Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Finally. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. All right, where to next? Expeller, Expelliarmus. <laughs> Expelliarmus. Talk to L Lucan Bratleby. Clock tower should be fine, Lucan Bratley. Uh, I'll go meet her. I don't want to do that wand club. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's influence. That was it. Half a bottle of flabbergast. This beautiful architect. I bet Black could tell if you I'd be in awe if I went to a school like this, like every time I walk through the halls and everything. Oh, 
I'm going into the school grounds. I don't know why shops always refer to standard and Do not tell me that's the Quidditch thing over there. <gasps> Let's go. It's the Quidditch arena. It's Hagrid's hut. Let me see here. want to like take a look around his hut so sad he passed away not just Hagrid but the actual actor himself so sad the guy was a legend well what's this little jumping mushrooms I'm gonna just follow the trail, not get distracted, as you guys could see. Whoa. Look at that view, though, of the castle. Hold on, let me get. There we go. Whoa. Very beautiful visuals here. here I gotta go I'm getting so distracted dude overlooking Hagrid's hut up here like what happens if I go all the way up what the heck is that so cool uh. 
I don't think I was supposed to go up this hill though. <laughs> I got distracted again. That's what I get for not paying attention. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh my goodness. I have to go all the way back down, dude. Did I go the long way or something? Is definitely larger than I thought. I look. Ooh. It just like opens up, dude, to this huge open world. What? Lumos. Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Bob. Repair. Oh, I have like no attack spells. Incendio. Dang, I can't set nobody on fire. Right. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful hey, trip it's Natty. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We didn't... They yeah. want something I have to Just before we came... A port... What? There's one more. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection. Is that the magic? I think I know that. It's fun. I realized something that day in Hogs... You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Sorry, I'm skipping wasn't through intimidated it. intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired... What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's hmm. lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Hi, beg your pardon. Oh, 
dare you threaten me? Wingardium Le What's going on here? Incendium! I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Okay. Am I finally gonna get to fight someone? They must have come this way. Think. I've Let's no idea who go. it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man. Yo, time to beat some people up, bro. Love you, Lumos. Your life. Ooh, I lit him on fire, dude. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Go there. Take us. We can go. Lumos, I'm not going anywhere. You take this, you get off of my dead body! Incendium. No, no, no! Well, I light you on fire, buddy. Ooh. Potato! Uh, I hate lights! You just wait till I come. Not today! Oh. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Thank you for you. But... You're a reason. No. Merlin? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? Mm. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect oh, that Mallow Suite it? is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Suite? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these Now pearls. what? 
Revelio. Incendio. Levioso. Lumos. Repero. These pillars are pies, and pies are meant to be lit. Oh. Incendio. Beard. The flames make the pyre sink. There we go. guys so that's about it for tonight um if you guys like the content please make sure you drop a like comment subscribe follow me on my twitch so you get notified whenever i upload content and go live with that it's been your pleasure jacuzzi and i'm out